Can you picture this? It's the 1960s and you're waking up in a world without any modern technology. No smartphones, no internet, no on-demand entertainment. As you go through your day, simple tasks become major challenges without the tech gadgets you rely on now. Your alarm clock rings, jolting you awake with its loud bells. You squint at the clock face to see the time instead of checking your phone. Tying a tie or fastening buttons takes focus without music or a podcast playing in the background. Driving to work, you crank the wheel to roll down the car window. No automatic buttons. At the office, clacking typewriters and the whir of the copy machine fill the air as you type memos on an old IBM Selectric. After work, you turn on the TV to find just three staticky channels of programming. This was everyday life before smartphones, Wi-Fi, on-demand movies, and more. Could you have survived in the 1960s without modern tech conveniences? It would have required patience and adaptability. But you may have valued face-to-face -face connections more without constant digital distractions. Life moved at a slower pace with more simplicity. The 1960s nostalgia trend makes it seem idyllic. But in reality, no AC, car power windows, or microwave ovens meant daily inconveniences we now take for granted. While innovation has made tasks infinitely easier, it's changed how we spend time and interact. The 1960s remind us that tech shouldn't replace life's simple pleasures, even amidst today's conveniences. We all need to unplug and enjoy analog experiences sometimes without losing life's little details, like the satisfying sound of hanging up a heavy rotary phone. Let me take you on a little trip down memory lane. Close your eyes and picture this. It's the 1960s. You're sitting in the living room of a typical middle-class home. What do you see? Well, for starters, there's probably a rotary phone on an end table near the couch. Can you even remember the last time you used one of those clunky old phones? You definitely won't find them around anymore, but rotary phones were everywhere in the 60s. To use it, you'd pick up the handset and hold it to your ear. Then you'd place your finger in the rotary dial and spin it around until it hit the finger stop. The phone would make a whirring noise as the dial spun back into place. You do that for each number you needed to dial. It was slow and cumbersome, nothing like just punching buttons on a touchtone phone. But back then, it was the height of technology. Your service means that people make more calls, and more calls mean more operators. Dial or no dial, you'll still be placing out of town calls. If you look across the living room, you'd probably see a television set, but not like the giant ultra HD smart TVs we have today. Televisions in the 1960s were small boxy sets with tiny black and white screens. Even if you were wealthy enough to afford a TV back then, the picture quality was nothing compared to today's crystal clear digital images. Can you even imagine only having three channels to choose from? Next to the TV, you might see a radio console. This piece of furniture housed both an AM FM radio and a record player for listening to vinyl records. Records were made of fragile vinyl and had to be handled with care. You had to manually place the needle on the record. No auto cue systems back then. But it was the only way to enjoy your music at home. The Beatles, Elvis, Motown, so many classic tunes were first heard on record players in the 60s. Elsewhere in the house, you may have spotted one of the most essential items in any 60s home, the typewriter. Long before computers and printers, we pounded out papers, letters, and reports on clunky mechanical typewriters. You had to hit the keys really hard to leave an impression on the page. And there was no delete button, just messy whiteout tape to cover mistakes. Typewriters may have been slow, but they were tough old machines. Kids today can't fathom life without word processors and spell check. In the kitchen, you'd see appliances that look ancient now. Bulky refrigerators with tiny freezers, avocado green ovens with dials and knobs, harvest gold dishwashers. These were the height of kitchen fashion back in the 60s. No digital controls, no computer panels. Cooking was definitely more challenging without microwaves, food processors, and convection ovens. Don't even get me started on the nightmare of washing dishes by hand. Thank goodness for modern conveniences. When it was time for fun and entertainment, technology from the 60s provided some glimpses of the future while still remaining firmly rooted in the analog past. I remember how much fun it was when someone brought a Polaroid camera to a party. Finally, you didn't have to wait days or weeks to see your photos. The camera would spit out a blank square photo which would slowly come into focus before your eyes. It felt like magic. 
but the quality was never that great. I guess convenience comes with a price. If I really wanted to impress my friends, I'd pull out my slide projector and show off photos from my latest vacation. With the lights down low, we'd all gather around the screen to see the images in vibrant color. Of course, with only 24 slides per carousel, you had to be selective about the photos you showed. Today, all my many photos live on my phone or in the cloud. I can't remember the last time I watched someone's vacation slideshow. Times definitely change. Music lovers in the 60s relied on bulky stereo systems to play their albums and favorite radio stations. With the introduction of the 8-track tape in the mid-60s, suddenly you could enjoy music portably. These tapes let you bring your tunes to parties, on road trips, wherever you went. Of course, the sound quality was dodgy. Tapes easily got jammed in the players, and they could only hold eight tracks. But hey, it beat listening to the radio in your car. If you were a student in the 60s, your school desk was likely equipped with inkwells. We didn't have ballpoint pens. We used old-fashioned fountain pens dipped in bottles of ink. Writing was messy business with ink smudges everywhere. I remember how sore my hand would get after long essay exams. Computers definitely make homework easier for you kids today. Out of all the things I remember about the 1960s, the one that makes me most nostalgic is the telegram. The telegram was a memorable and meaningful way to share important news in the 1960s. When major life events occurred like a wedding or new baby, friends and family would have a congratulatory telegram delivered to the recipient's home. These telegrams were typed out messages printed on paper that arrived at the door brought by a messenger. People proudly displayed these telegrams and saved them as cherished mementos. Receiving a telegram carried more weight and significance than modern day texts or online messages. The extra effort to send a formal telegram demonstrated care and celebration of milestones. Its tangible physical format gave it a special feeling you could hold on to, unlike the ephemerality of digital communication. In a world of instant but impersonal messaging, the custom of sending congratulatory telegrams stands out as a nostalgic highlight that truly made someone feel special. Well, there you have it. A quick tour through some of the everyday objects from the 1960s that you may have forgotten. Rotary phones, black and white TVs, turntables. At the time, we thought they were so modern. Today, they seem quaint and old fashioned. It's funny how technology keeps advancing and changing. I wonder what things you'll be nostalgic for 60 years from now? What common items today will be obsolete and forgotten in 2083? One thing's for sure, the past has a way of creeping back into fashion now and then. Maybe rotary phones and vinyl records will have a comeback soon like my grandpa's old clothes. Some vintage things never go out of style. <laughs>